Welcome to Next Gear. Now today I'll be showing you my very unique sound system that has been in my S2000 for over 20 years, as well as all the transformations it's gone through in that time. Now back when I originally got the S2000, 22 years ago, I was not only into performance, but also car sound systems. Now while the S2000 did offer much at the time in the way of performance, it was quite lacking when it came to its two-speaker sound system that couldn't even be heard when the top was down. Now due to this limitation, I went through several revisions of sound system upgrades in the years 2001 and 2002. Now I was lucky enough to have some friends who were professional car stereo installers, and this led us to take a fairly drastic approach when getting the proper sound setup in the S2000. Now looking back on it over 20 years later, I'm pretty certain I wouldn't have taken such an approach these days, as even explaining this process brings me pain when I think of what we had to go through to get all of these speakers into the S. But after 20 years of enjoyment both driving and hearing her, I am still happy I was able to accomplish with her what we did. Now since making these dramatic changes, no ill effects have been seen from them, and she's even performed well at the track days without any issues being seen. Now I just got through taking apart and cleaning the system after all this time, and I felt it was a good time to take some pictures of the end result and to make a video going over the history of the system. Now back in 2001, we made our first attempt and we simply upgraded the head unit and door speakers as well as putting a 12 inch subwoofer in an enclosure in the trunk. Now the result sadly wasn't much of an improvement. It was indeed louder, but the highs and mids could still not be heard with the top down and though the bass being produced by the subwoofer was decent, it was quite noticeably 100% from behind me, so the resulting sound was just a lot of bass coming from the trunk and really not much else. This led us to entirely redesign the system with more speakers throughout the cabin to create the proper effect of being immersed in sound, even when the top was down. Now we had to find places to mount all the speakers necessary to do this while still making it both look and sound right. To do this, we added four tweeters to the setup, four 6-inch carbon fiber illusion speakers, and two 10-inch carbon fiber illusion subwoofers. Now we specifically used illusion due to the inverted magnet design at the time, which is what allows us to fit them in the small places we had planned for them that would not have clearance on the back side for a magnet that would be present on most of the speakers available in the market today. Now the first two tweeters were placed into the A-pillars facing the front windshield and the person on the other side of the car. We then had to make space for the kick panels that would house two 6-inch mids and a tweeter in each of them. Now we had to remove a small amount of metal from the S2000 for a place for the two 6-inch mids to sit. We were also able to seal a cavity inside with Dynamat, which made for the perfect membrane for those two 6-inch mids in each kick panel. We then molded the tweeters into the top of the kick panel, positioned to hit both the driver and passenger. Next, the task of getting the 10-inch subs below the seat. To accomplish this, we used steel membranes that would house the subs after we had carefully cut a hole in each floor for them to fit. Now before mounting the subs, a layer of Dynamat was also added to each floor and the kick panel areas. Now this original setup was powered entirely by a JL Audio 500x5 amplifier with a DEQ 230 equalizer. Now this system sounded absolutely incredible and was professionally tuned and really was something to hear. Now my stereo adventure didn't stop here though. At the time I was getting into and designing in-car telematic systems that would use a small computer to give you access to many features we consider common today. Now I designed systems in 2002 that integrated a small Windows computer, a 7-inch touchscreen, and it gave you access to such powerful tools such as GPS, XM and FM radios, TV signals, internet browsing, you could use voice commands, and of course the playing of videos and movies. And I integrated all these things into the S2000. Now you're seeing some pictures here of the system that I designed in 2002. Now this system ended up replacing the head unit entirely, and the car hasn't had a head unit in over 20 years now. Now everything is driven by the 7-inch Xenarch touchscreen in the front that looks quite dated these days, but still accomplishes its purpose and offers HD viewing. Now the system worked flawlessly for a year or two until one day, while being worked on at a local shop, the head unit, amps, equalizer, computer, and the screen were all stolen out of the car. Further complicating things, I had moved and was no longer able to work with my friends who had helped me originally install and tune this system. This meant I was going to have to come up with some new version of the system myself. Now I first replaced the computer itself 
with a smaller but more powerful unit that fit quite well into the area of the jack and tools in the trunk of the S2000. Now I also got two amps instead of one. The first was a JL Audio 300x2 and the second a JL Audio 500x1 and I made a platform shelf for them to sit on that was the same size as the spare tire and I used that space as the new location for my amps and power distribution. Now doing this freed up my trunk space and allowed me to return it to its original look and gain its usable space back. I also took this time to try to fix an issue I had with the original system in that I always felt that even though the sound was amazing, it all felt like it was in front of me. I tried to fix this by installing two more 6-inch speakers with tweeters into the roll bars of the S2000 for some rear sound in the mid and high range. This was because while the 6-inch illusion speakers in the kick panels were amazing, I was having difficulty getting the higher frequency sounds into a volume range that I like when using only those speakers. Now to complete the system redo, I purchased another 7-inch Xenarc touchscreen, this time in black, and sticking it directly to the dashboard instead of being mounted on the pivot arm. Now the end result returned was my favorite yet from a functionality standpoint, and while competitively the original 2002 system would have been better, this current system is more suited to my taste. Now the system has performed flawlessly since, and here in 2022, I felt it was time to update the PC to a smaller new one and take the entire system apart to see what 20 years of usage has done to the speakers. This is only the third time since 2002 that I've taken the entire system apart and cleaned it, as over time the subs can get dirty and some debris can get in the gap where the magnet and voice coil is, so it needs to cleaned out periodically. Now I'm happy to say that after over 20 years of usage, at cold and hot temperatures, all six of the Illusion speakers looked like the day I put them in. Now after taking apart and cleaning each one, I put them all back together and then put all of the speakers back in. I then also used this time to wire in my new three camera in-car system and radar detector. And also the new computer is now small enough to fit into the space that originally had the head unit, allowing me to remove it from the bottom of the trunk. Now after rewiring all connections to that new location where the head unit is, that completed the changes I'm going to make with this current revision. Now in the future, I'd still like to get a bigger 10-inch touchscreen that is molded into the dash, but I'll need a shop to do that custom job for me as I don't feel comfortable doing it myself. Now in the meantime though, I'm going to still enjoy the sound that this beast of a system has come to provide through its constant revisions, and I hope you enjoyed hearing about the unusual journey from 2 to 12 speakers that this S2000 has undertaken in its life. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them down there in the comments, and if this is your first visit to my channel and you enjoyed the content, Please be sure to click the subscribe button under the video and the bell icon next to it to be notified when my future videos are released. Thanks so much for watching everyone, we'll see you next time. Stay safe and stay healthy out there.